Hey what's going on you guys welcome back to another mental video I hope this finds you well and if you like this kind of content don't forget to subscribe because it is free and I am going to be of course playing the new football manager game when it comes out I cannot wait for the beta which is why this may well be my final episode for this series so for people who have taken the time to watch this series thank you very much I know it's not got a lot of views and it's this early in my of YouTube stage career thing if you like yeah, so we are Reading, as you will see. Very exciting to be managing Reading. If you look at the transfer budget, it's absolutely insane. The finances, £98 million. Football's just gone mad. I mean, why a championship team has 19 because we're in the championship? The last team we managed, if you have been watching the series, was Swansea. I mean, long story short, I think I said in the last episode that I just felt I'd taken them as far as I could. I was disappointed with the signings that we'd made. We'd actually splashed for once and spent like two and a half million. That's splashing the cash for me, really, because I was building for the future as well. I wanted to keep the club in a good financial state and it didn't work out. So with this squad, right, it is the complete opposite. So the players I've signed, this is more the youngest player that we've got is an 18 year old. I signed him. Look at him. He's a really cool face, Jen. I really like him. He's genuinely good. I've signed some young face gens in the past or some have come through with Swansea and I've sort of thought hmm, they're, they're good for League One championship level. But this guy, I mean, he, he can be as good as anyone, really. Look at that ridiculous overview. Other than that, we've signed, we've got Alid here on loan, but we've signed older players. That's who we've signed. I've signed Zach Steffen because this is definitely for the short term. I don't even know if I'm going to do another video because the new beta database is going to be out soon for the new football manager game. The, yeah, the kind of players that we've signed, if you just will go through them quickly, 32 years of age. So it's kind of going to be like we already had Perraud. It's going to be like uh, an AC Milan in a way. We signed him because, yeah, just old, experienced players. We've got Rian Brewster on loan. He's 30 years of age. It is all about the experience with this team. And then, yeah, the kind of players that we've already got who are not getting rid of Patella. I guess I should show you, Try. I'm just trying to get to the point quickly with this because yeah, I don't know if this is going to be, we've got him on loan from Norwich, I don't know if this is going to be the last game. I guess it will be the last episode of the series before we move on to FM24 beta. We've got James Pitt on loan. He looks quite good. The face gen players have been quite disappointing, actually. They've not been, they're not amazing. Like, we've got him as well. There aren't really any massive ones apart from that Italian guy that we've got. Ball, I don't really know too much about him. Oh yeah, he's all right. We've got him. Quite like him. Some experience in the side, Mianga. He's this is a young guy we've signed actually. But again, these young players, what's the point? Are they going to go anywhere? Penman on a free from Brighton. We got him. Did we really need him? I'm not too sure. Niambi Bangura. You've already seen these guys. So yeah, let's get into the game. What may well be the final game of the series. So the tactics that are apparently the best for Reading are like a custom tiki taka. So let's play our first game. Let's see how we do. And that's I, I don't know what I'll do after this actually. Um, this is just like a final sort of confirmation that in this Rookie Road series, we got to the championship. Also, when it comes to OBS, I kind of feel like for the next game as well, the match engine, the 3D match engine, if it is smooth, for me, it's absolutely fine. Like You don't expect it to be FIFA graphics on Football Manager yet, do you? So the, the graphics, I think, is fine for the match engine, but it's not smooth enough. I think if someone's got a mental expensive pc then fantastic but i yeah i just don't really want to i found that i didn't really want to go and do anything else anymore other than use the old school the old school dots let me know how you feel about the old school dots we've got fleming here perkins wins it back so we're pressing because of the tiki taka style football we're passing it around waiting for an opening Averta brings hardwood bells into play this nice. See, it's, it's nice and nostalgic, isn't it? I'm, I'm trying to convince myself that this is acceptable and good enough. That's a nice ball to Rogers. Rogers bringing Bell into play. And he, oh, my word, that was nice. Kenny gets it away and it's a corner. I don't know how he sliced it and it went. I guess, I guess he did slice it. I guess that's why it's a corner to us. But yeah, Morgan Gibbs-White currently at Nottingham Forest. Is a goal going to come from this? You guys could, who are watching this could probably be thinking, well, it doesn't really matter what happens, does it? Bottom line is... We finished at Reading. It's nice to finish at Reading. And let's see what we can do today. Let's see if we can win. Slater now. Slater does our player. And incredible. Misses the target. Birmingham winning. Stoke winning. Southampton still in the championship. All these years later. Perkins gets it now. Here's Abrefa. Harwood Bellis to Abrefa. Or Abrefa. 
Perkins. Perkins releases a breather down the right hand side. I can't actually remember what a breather's overview looks like, to be honest. Harwood Bellis. But this is kind of reminds me of, yeah, obviously the old football manager playing um, with the dots, but with like when I played with Barcelona, it looks, it does look quite nice with the dots, you know, it's not terrible. And I don't know. Oh, this is nice. This is, look at this. You can play nice football with the dots. Gibbs White put, knocked it onto himself effectively. Bangor inside Perkins, and it's just wide. Got a corner now. Morgan Gibbs White swings the ball in. Now Rogers doesn't quite get there. Our guy Perkins. I don't know. Is Perkins good in the air? He's winning quite a lot of balls. Morgan Gibbs White goes for the curler, and it's wide. But yeah, so I, I, I don't know really what's, what's, you know, the new football manager game. It's by the time I upload this video, I think, you know, it will be out. I think, let alone the beta, I think the actual full version will be out. So. Very excited to play that. Don't really know who I'm going to be yet. I think for the beta, I'm going to have... Oh, that's a beautiful, stunning ball. That is served a goal. For the beta, I am going to play with Roma, I think, just because they seem to have all the Italian badges and everything already. So I think that'll be good. I think that'll be good fun. But unless I'm mistaken. But it is nil-nil currently. And I'm actually surprised why... I mean, typical Tiki Taka not finishing. It always feels like it's not direct enough, doesn't it? Whenever you don't score with Tiki Taka... It's always the same criticism, kind of like what Arsenal used to have where, oh, that's nice. That is stunning. That is stunning. But Arsenal used to get, oh, it's disallowed for offside. Arsenal were criticised, weren't that? Like all this lovely football and everything and no end product. So, yeah, that is usually the case with Tiki Taka, isn't it? If it doesn't go to plan. If you do finish your chances, i.e. you have someone with insane finishing ability like Lionel Messi back in the day when Barcelona did. Oh, over the top to Perkins, nearly. Unahi to Rogers, and Rogers makes it once in. Wow, oh, that was beautiful. 56 minutes. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely ball. See, you can enjoy it still. I hope, um, I hope you guys watch my Football Manager 2024 content when it comes out because I, again, I don't have much faith in the, um, in the, what is it, in the 3D match engine unless it's completely, unless it's like completely smooth because. I swear the last game, and I think a lot of people will agree with me, I think the last game had sort of like a smoother match engine like for OBS when you're, oh, that's just nice football for OBS when you're like trying to record it. And I've not really had any luck. It's not looked that great in an ideal world. Oh, that's nice. In an ideal world, obviously the 3D match engine. But um, yeah, I think for the next game, I am actually going to use this one because there's no problems with it you know it's not laggy or anything it's absolutely fine it doesn't look terrible you know it doesn't look like they're playing bad football or anything i think it's quite nice so is bangora now coming down the left bangora just get across in mate i know that's not the tactics we've employed but ah, oh, that's nice it looks like we're going to be signing off by playing some nice football and winning the first home game hopefully i'm not jinxing that wharton but we are all oh we knew there was a guy oh it's perkins now and Sonny Perkins is that? Did he score the first one? I can't remember. But that that was a lovely crafted Reading move. Really, really nice. And whilst this is all going on, I'm going to unrealistically pause it because I don't know if you should be able. If I agree that you should be allowed to do that because you can't in real life, can you? I don't know. But it would make you think on your feet more, wouldn't it? But let's make our changes all bar one because I don't know who else to take off. There we go. This guy's dying. Anui, Anuahi. Um, Rian Brewster's not a midfielder, but I guess we'll just finish the game there. 85 minutes in, most likely the final game, the final episode for FM23 that we'll be playing on the channel, and the final episode of Rookie Road before we start putting some beta content out for FM24. But yeah, thank you um, everyone who's taken the time to watch this episode, if you have, I really appreciate it. Thank you for people who have viewed the Rookie Road series. I know people didn't like it as much as the hashtag series, so I might do hashtag again and actually sort of go through with an impossible grind and get hashtag to the top, but by playing actual good tactics. If you've got to the end of this video, guys, as per usual, you've got the patience of a saint. I really appreciate it. Um, take care, and I'll obviously see you on the next one, all right? Bye-bye.